Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the qualifier round for the Pink Heather Farr Classic. It's AJJ win, and it definitely means a lot because for the Heather Farr, this is my third time qualifying into the event, and um, for me to take the win this time, is, it means a lot. It's great just to come out here and uh, test my skills against the uh, best juniors of uh, my age and see what we can do. It feels good um, because I've never done this achievement before, but I also feel like I worked hard enough to qualify into this tournament. Gentlemen, and welcome to the first round of Ping Heather Far Classic at Longbow Golf Club. Uh, just stick to the game plan. Uh, not waver that at all. Um, hit the same uh, clubs off each tee, you know. Fairways, greens, putts, that's it. Nice putt. Boom! The golf course is definitely playing a little bit more difficult than like years previous. Um, it was really windy when I teed off today and the greens are rolling really fast, which is really nice to play on. I mean, it could have been better, but it could have been worse at the same time. I didn't birdie the par fives today, so I had to recover with my par threes and par fours. Um, I was stroking it well with my putting, uh, putts dropped, and then short game was good. Then my approach, my approach shots was also good. So overall, I think it's a great round today. So heading to tomorrow's round, hopefully I have the same mindset. Um, be patient and wait for putts to drop. My mentality throughout the round is kind of just stick to my game plan. Um, usually my game plan depends on the wind and where the pin is, but if the pin's in a good spot for me to hit kind of a, a draw into it or just if I have a good number going into a green, uh, I'd probably just say sticking to my game plan. I don't, I don't try to look at the leaderboard just because Kind of just gets extra thoughts in your your head that you don't need. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm also at the end of the day, I'm trying to play the golf course and beat the course, and not not trying to beat my competitors. I had an amazing first hole, just didn't make my putt. Second hole, I stuck it, and I was like, all right, like today's a day. And you know, I just kept focusing on hitting greens, making putts, and fortunately, I got the win. It plays to a straight hitter's strengths, and I don't tend to work the ball too much one way. Um, it's fairly straight and this course you have to be in the fairway and if you're hitting from the fairway you can shoot as low as you want and I was hitting from the fairway on almost every shot today so low score happened. I felt like my putting was really nice today. I felt like my irons were really solid. Driver was really good all day. So they all just kind of clicked together. What stood out was how confident and kind of patient I was on the course. It's not my lowest score, but it felt like it was probably my cleanest round. I played solid. Um, I started off with two bogeys in four holes, and then I bounced back to one under finish. Feels amazing. I really enjoy it. Like every time, the facilities are great. Everything is amazing, and it's great to be in North Carolina. It started off kind of bumpy, a few little hiccups, but I was able to just forget about those and just move on with my round and focus on what's ahead of me. I just tried to forget about yesterday. Actually, just keep today's round, keep this shot inside of my head, and just focus on that. Yeah, so I obviously started with two bogeys. I was expecting a little bit of a shaky round off of that, but um, made a big putt on three for birdie, which really got the round um, going in the right direction. And then once that happened, I just kept a hold of the positive momentum and went on with my business. So I've, I've always been pretty loyal to Adidas. I love their clothing, very comfortable. Um, but as far as TaylorMade goes, I'm big into their woods. I've always played their woods for a long time. Uh, just got the new Stealth Driver. That helped me a ton today. So I'll give credit to them. The greens were super quick today. Um, when we went out there in the afternoon, they were like super firm and fast. So, but just making a few putts really got some momentum going and that helped me throughout the round. Well, this is my first full AJGA event. So leading going in the final round is super cool. I'm super excited and just try to play the same tomorrow. 
I'm feeling really good right now. I'm really happy to get my first AJGA win. Uh, I went out there today just trying to stay patient and not be aggressive at all and just give myself birdie opportunities at the fairway, hit the green, and then just see what can happen. I would like to thank um, all the AJGA volunteers and interns and managers for making this tournament possible. I always look forward to it every year. I'd like to thank all the Longleaf staff. They always have this course in great shape. It meant so much to win my first AJGA here because I won my um, the U.S. Kids Worlds when I was younger here, so it meant a lot. Um, I'm feeling really excited. You know, the the field was was really deep. There was a bunch of good players, and to come out on top, it, it feels really good, and I'm really excited. This is the first full AJGA event that I've played, and to come out with a win, you know, it's it's super cool. I'm one for one right now. I would like to thank the course and the AJGA for putting on this event. You know, the course is in great shape. The greens are rolling good, and um, I would like to thank the sponsors for uh, for you know helping with this tournament. TaylorMade is a is a big part of this event. And uh, they did a great job all week. And I would like, like to thank my family and my coaches for pushing me every day. I'm super excited. This is my first time qualified at AJGA. It's not my first time playing the qualifier, however, but it's just meant a lot to me being able to play in a tournament. It's feel very exciting and it's a very big tournament and it's very important for me. It's really hard to work to work golf course and you don't typically get to play courses like that, so it's just a lot of fun. This was my first event, an AJGA event three years ago, so to be able to come back again is uh, really cool and it makes me realize how hard I work, how hard I work to come here um, and to be able to play a great course like this um, that pros play is really cool as well. Fairways are really tight, typically I'm not that great of a driver the ball, but uh, I've, I've been hitting it really well off the tee, hitting a lot of fairways. It's been a great experience thanks to Innisbrook, uh, thanks for hosting us. Um, the course is always you know, in great shape and uh, I mean, it was a lot of fun playing playing a course like this right after you know PGA Tour play here. Um, I like to thank my mom, my family, uh, my coaches. Uh, just everyone who's helped me get here, and then uh, AJGA staff. This means a lot to me. Uh, this was my first event three years ago, and um, I've had a lot of experiences with AJGA, and learned a lot.